Hello, welcome to Tantrum House HQ. I'm Katie Pills. And I'm Will Meadows. And today on the Throwdown, we've got Cash and Guns from Repost Productions in the red corner. And Dead Last by Smirk and Dagger in the blue corner. Dead Last from designers Grasso and Patton is a 6-12 player social elimination game. The goal of the game is to eliminate all the other players in order to collect a bunch of gold at the end of each round. In the game, each player is given their own deck of colored cards, and they must work quickly to form alliances before revealing a card. Whoever receives the majority vote is out of the game, as well as anyone who did not vote with the majority. If two players make it to the final showdown, new cards are used, and a prisoner's dilemma mechanic is employed to determine how to split the gold. Several rounds of the game are played until one player makes it to 25 points. In Cash and Guns, from designer Ludwig Monblanc, players take on the role of a bunch of monsters who have just returned from a heist and have to decide how to split their loot. Each round, the mob boss calls out instructions and has players loading their weapons and taking aim. The mob boss gets the chance to make one player redirect his shot, and then after a shot of Bonsai, any of the players who have decided to remain in play reveal their bullet cards. The loot includes the mob boss's desk, which while powerful, tends to put a target on your back. If a player takes three shots, he's out of the game, and whoever manages to stay alive and collect the most valuable loot by the end of the game wins. All right, so we're looking at two murderously fun party games. Katie, what's your take on Dead Last? So I really love the reading people mechanic and trying to form those alliances. Um, it's all really fun. It's a little chaotic sometimes, though. Yeah, I agree. I like the fun that's in that, too. This one does have a little bit more control in it because you kind of control your own destiny. You can back out if you think you're going to get shot, which is nice. Mm -hmm. uh, I also just super love the foam guns and pointing at people. There's a lot of fun to be had in them. They both play in about 30 to 40 minutes, which is cool, and uh, lots of fun for a big group of people. Mm-hmm. So let us know which one's your favorite in the comments and subscribe to Tantrum House for more videos. <laughs> it sounded okay.